I'm Betsy Trevina. I am the Director of Children and Family Ministries here at St. Andrews. Um, if there's any kiddos that want to come up for children's message, please come on up. I see Kevin's already up here with his cars. And Max. All right, come on up. We're going to chat for just a minute. Good morning. I hope summer's going well for everyone. Yeah? Everybody looks a little tanner, maybe uh, went to the beach a little bit. Yeah? So um, by now, I feel like you all know who I am, right? A little bit? You get to know me a little bit better? Like, what are some things about me that you know? That I work here, yep. Yep, that's true. Got the official name tag. Anything else? Kev, do you know anything about me? What do you know about me? Um, do you go to work here? Uh, yeah, I do go to work here. Apparently I work a lot. <laughs> um, I have kids, yep. I have what? I'm a mom, yep. Anything else? Now, how do you know these things? I feel like a lot of these things, how do you know these things about me? Because you see me. Yep, you see me here, you see my name tag, you see me with my kids. Yeah. So um, I'm going to share something with you that you might not know. Maybe you do know. Kevin probably knows. But I love rocks. I have always loved rocks. Ask my dad. They've always been around. I will go for a walk and I'll pick up a rock and put it in my pocket and they're just really fun. I like to fiddle with them and play with them. Um, and I love so many rocks. I sometimes even like to color on them because that's fun. So that's something new about me that you just learned. Now, do you think in Jesus' time everybody knew everything about Jesus? No. Do you think everybody knows everything about Jesus now? No. <laughs> Far shoe. from it. Oh, it's, look. It's his shield. Yeah. I wanted a shield to tell. Yeah. And you know what, Kev? Do, do you know everything about Jesus? Mm -hmm. Probably not, huh? How about Max? Do you know everything? McQueen. You know about McQueen. You know a lot about McQueen. I know about Toad. Did you know that Jesus healed people? Yeah. You did? Did you guys know that? Yeah. We've heard about that a little bit. Today we're going to talk about a story when Jesus heals two people, a woman and a girl. And um, what happened is we're going to talk about the first person in the story. She was a woman that had a problem with her body. And she had a problem with her body for a long time. She was sick for a long time. And back then when somebody was sick, it wasn't like, you know, we go and visit them and see what we can do to help. They were kind of sh like shunned, like, you stay away from me. I don't know what germs you get, but no, thank you. Okay. And do you think that would feel pretty bad? Yeah. When you're sick, you kind of want to be helped with people and held, right? Yeah. And so she probably felt pretty bad for a long time. So she heard about this guy named Jesus that was healing people. Because she tried going to doctors. You know, sometimes when you're sick, you go to a doctor and they're like, oh, hey, fixed, done. Here's a, here's a Band-Aid, here's a prescription, here's a cast, here's what you need, and we'll get you fixed. Well, she went to a lot of doctors, and she could not get healed by them. So then she heard about Jesus, and she was like, hey, Sounds like a good plan to me. So she thought, you know, she believed in him so much. If I could just touch his clothes, then he would heal me. Like, I know it. I know that if I could just get close enough. So, you know, when Jesus was walking around, he usually wasn't just by himself, was he? Not that we've heard, right? Usually there was a lot of people, like a lot, kind of like a celebrity. And... um so he was walking through the crowd, and all of a sudden he felt like, he was like, oh, something just happened. And he's like, who touched me? Hmm. So she touched his robe, and he felt that something happened. Now, he was in a crowd, so there was, like, lots of people touching him. And so even though, she, so she got healed, 
And he was like, who touched me? Now, have you ever been afraid to tell someone that you did something? I have. What kinds of things have you been afraid to tell people? Like, is it easier? What? That you broke something? Yeah, that you broke something. Why would you be afraid to tell somebody that? Because if I have to get in trouble. <laughs> you might get in trouble. Is it easier to tell somebody that you know that you did something? Like your mom or dad? Or is it easier to tell somebody that you don't really know, that maybe you just met for the first time? Mom, mom. mom or dad. Somebody that you know. Because you have an idea of like, hey, they might forgive me. They might, you know, say you need to fix it. Or, you know, you can guess what they're going to say. Well, Jesus was like, who touched me? And the woman was like, me. I did. It was me. Sorry. And what do you think Jesus did? Was he like, you should have asked. No, no, he showed her kindness. And do you think she knew he was going to be kind about that? She didn't know. She just knew that he was healing people. So, you know, she came up and touched him and got healed. And you know what? Not only did he show her kindness when everybody else for like 12 years had been like, you stay away, you stay over there. He called her something super special. And I want you to listen to Pastor Dave during his sermon and see if you can catch what that super special thing is that he called her. It's not even on here, so don't even look. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so do you think when we pray to Jesus that we need healing or guidance, do you think he gets upset? Like, oh, George is asking for help again. No? How about when I pray? Oh, Betsy, would you just figure this out? Come on, you're a grown-up. No, he doesn't. So Jesus wants us to seek him for guidance. And he, you know, maybe you already knew that about Jesus or maybe not, but he wants us to come to him. And he has a kind heart and a loving heart. And that is really important to keep learning about Jesus because we're probably never going to know everything. But the more we know, the more comfortable we are talking to him. Just like it's more easy to say to your mom and dad, I broke that, sorry. Right? All right. Let's pray. All right, hands in. Kev, you want to put your hands in? Max? All right. Dear Jesus, thank you for your kindness and for your understanding. Thank you for loving each of us and helping us learn who you are. Thank you for healing our hearts when we need it. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, if you'd like to pick out a rock to take with you to remember that Jesus is always there for you and learning new things is always great.